So we're turning now to the Grange uh, co coefficient way of writing these polynomials. And I'm going to come back to this first degree polynomial, P1, which, if you notice the way I wrote it, right, it had this very nice form, which allowed me to do quite a bit with, which means I avoided altogether any kind of solving of linear systems of equations. Okay? So that was the generic form. And that went through both points. Gives me a nice uh, way to represent a curve, or a line in this case, between two points. The way this is typically represented in practice with these Lagrange po coefficient polynomials is the following way. You would instead write this as a sum over two terms from 0 to 1 of y sub k l sub 1 comma k x. These are the Lagrange coefficients. And what do they look like? Well, in this case, by the way, this comes out to be y naught uh, l1 0 x plus y1 uh, l1 1 x, where the l1 0 is exactly what we had there, x minus x1 over x0 minus x1, and L11 was equal to x minus x0, x1 minus x0. Okay? So this is going to be this very nice shorthand way to represent a Lagrange polynomial fit. The nice thing about the L, L here <coughs> either takes on values of 0 or 1. If it's at the point, so if you're looking at point 0, then this thing here will take on the value of 1. If you're at the other point, point 1, this will be 0 over there, okay, for the first, for the one that's associated with y naught. So it takes on, it's an indicator function. It's either on or off, 1 or 0. That's what these things do, okay? So that's the nice clever trick with this. From a more practical point of view, I could say, oh, well, this is just for a line fit, but then I could say, well, I want the full polynomial. And now if I want to do full polynomial through all those points, I'd say, okay, k is going to go from 0 to n, because now I have n plus 1 points, so I have n plus 1 on this counter. It starts at 0 up to n, so it's n plus 1. Same formula, y of k, l, n of k, x. And then, the only thing I have to do is define this L of nk, which is now much bigger. It's x minus x0, x minus x1, x minus xk minus 1, x minus xk plus 1, dot, 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 all the way up to x minus x of n, all divided by xk minus x0, xk minus x1, xk minus x of k minus 1, xk minus x of k plus 1, all the way to xk minus x of n. Okay, so it's a kind of a big long formula, but I've already said that that thing is either 0 or 1 at any of the points of the data. Okay? So suppose that k, if I have k is 0. So in other words, look at the first point. If I look at the first piece of this sum, I get y0 times ln, comma, 0. So k is 0. So in that case, I can come over here and say, all right, what is the value of this function at that first point, at x0? Well, put in k equals 0 here, uh, right? So first of all, uh, what would happen here is this, the kth point now would be the first point. So you'd start off with x minus x1 all the way up, and then you have uh, x of, uh, and then this here would be x of 0 minus x1, and so forth. And what you'd find if you plug that in, 
or actually, I suppose let's evaluate that at the kth point. It's, it's already set up for that. So put an x of k here. If you put an x of k, you get x of k minus x0, x of k minus x1, all the way up. And on the bottom, you have x of k minus x0, x k minus x1. In fact, the top and the bottom are identically the same. So when I put an x of k there, that thing is 1. If I put in x0 there, and I'm looking at the kth point, I get x0 minus x0, this is 0. If I put in the x1 at the point, I get x1 minus x1, that's 0. So all the terms are 0, except for that thing is 1 at the x of kth point. That's the way it's set up. So this is exactly what this thing does. This thing is either zeros or 1, depending upon which point you're looking at. Okay? So that's a very nice representation. In fact, this is kind of what MATLAB or any software would do. This is how you would actually write down a polynomial fit through any generic data set is with this formula here. Okay? Um, and that's actually what's used in practice. Now, this still doesn't get you around the idea of polynomial wiggle, but we'll address that as we go uh, along in a minute.